please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask please subscribe to the channel thank you hi friends welcome to free online tech videos my name is ravi in this video session we are going to see about change command okay the change command is used to change the password policies or the password aging for the users okay so not the exact the password policy which means that we cannot enforce the users to uh, put a strong password here but we can restrict the user to change their passwords after certain times or uh, the certain uh, dates okay so or you can also um, manage the users effectively using this change command so the change command changes the number of days between password changes and the date of the last password change okay so example see that if you can uh, see one of the user user password policy okay by uh, listing so i have the user called uh, ravi so the user if i see that the last password changed is never in the sense the user password is not changed okay the user password is not going to be expired the password is not going to be inactive or uh, the account is never going to be expired okay so this is the maximum number of days the password is going to be changed in the sense the after that many days it will prompt the user to change the password which means which is more less secure or the not secure i can say like uh, one of the user is set their password and the most of the users they said the password is like weak because are the same password they set for the multiple accounts so the so the easy to remember something like that but if we are not enforce the users to change their password so what happens so after certain time so they are the password may be uh, known to somebody else then they can come to log in with their credential and they can do something else if the bad guy is there then they can do anything okay so to prevent such a kind of things so we enforce the users to change their passwords certainly in the sense they we wanted to change their passwords they wanted to change their passwords after certain age so these password policy in the sense the change command is used used by the shadow file okay in the shadow file there is a format which is going to be explained okay in the shadow file what uh, what the information is stored here it is that so the first one is the username okay after the colon there is an encrypted password okay the encrypted password may be in a 13 characters okay uh, so if it is blank which means that the password is not set for that user okay and next column is there is an one blank okay you can see that after colon there is a blank one okay that blank one indicates that number of days since the password was changed in the sense the password is never changed just now we see that okay which means that this password calculation has been done as january 1 1970 okay january 1 1970 from that the days has been calculated and put it here so if you change the password now from this day to now days what how many days are there that value is going to be put here okay so the next one is the number of days before password may change here the password may change in the sense how many after days the password is expired you can change the password so zero days okay number of days after which password must be changed in the sense when the password is going to be changed this one after nine 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 days okay this many after this many days the password is going to be changed in the sense the you uh, this this policy will prompt the user to change the policy after this many days which means that the user may left the organization after some time okay 
so most of the users they may not work this many days on the organ some organization right so this is not effective the one more thing is that when the user to one for the password expiry in the sense that it will in the screen it will ex you know, says that your password is going to be expired in one day your password is going to be expired in so many days like that it, it prompts the users okay the next one is that here the block is that how many days after password expires and account is disabled in the sense when the password is expired then how many days it's given a grace period to uh, disable the account okay the next one here is the blank one is since january 1 1970 the account has been disabled in the sense this many days after 1970 the account has been disabled okay another blank one is reserved for any future possible future use okay okay if i say this many all the blanks and all the stuff here you may not able to understand okay but i can just what i can do is that just to change that policies values here using the change command and let's see that okay i'm going to see change the minimum password days to be changed is zero in a sense whenever the password is expired they should change immediately on that day itself okay okay the maximum days the password is going to be expired is 90 days before how many days is going to be given a warning okay 10 days before it's going to be give the warning to the users okay after how many days the password the grace period to inactivate the password for the user so i just change this one here the policy the minimum days is zero the maximum password change is to be 90 days and the warning is 10 days and inactive after password is expired then when the uh, password is going to be inactive okay enter and go and see that user here so the policy has been changed okay so the minimum number of days between the password change is zero the maximum number of days between the password change is 90 days the number of days warning before the password expires is 15 okay when the password is going to be inactive no password expiry never okay so this expiry date and all the stuff we will set it up now so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to change the password of that user okay maybe it did not matched okay let's see so the password has been changed the password is going to be expired after 90 days and account expiry i did not set it so password ex account expiry you can set it up using the something like this so i am going to set it up the account expiry after the password is going to be inactive which means june 30th i am going to set that so first one is the year the second one is the month okay third one is the date like this you have to provide the information and the username and expiry date is going to be set now we set it up that last password change is going to be on march 16th 2018 last password change change in the sense just now we changed password expires when it's going to be expire june 14 2018 and password is going to be inactive in a sense grace period this is the grace period for that and account is going to be expired if they did not change after password uh, is going to be inactive then the account is going to be in a expires in a sense account cannot be logged in again we have to go and manually re-enable the account if they do not change the password okay this is the change command you can use how effectively you can use so if you want to give the users to change their password immediately after uh, changing the password so you can use change iphone d0 say the username so if the user is logged into that machine then what happens it prompts the users to change the password immediately okay 
so what I'm doing here I'm going to log in so it's already said that duplicate session so that's why it says um, it's going to be directly login okay uh, that's okay we can change uh, like this SSH to localhost okay I logged in see that see what happens the password has expired you must change the password now now you provide the current password and provide the new password which is says it's almost uh, same that's why it's not accepting the password sorry password do not match okay now connection has been closed the password has been changed now let's execute this and uh, try to log in the, with the new password so the password has been changed and successfully logged in like this you can use these policies to execute it but the change command is going to give some um, error codes are the the codes which says that zero is success which means if you, you do a successful change it gives the uh, zero and uh, it provides the error code is one which means permission denied okay next one is the two which means uh, invalid command so you have typed the invalid command okay next one is going to be provide a uh, error value is 15 which means shadow file is missing shadow file is missing so if do not have dot slash it is slash shadow file if you're trying to do a change command which gives the error code as 15 which means the change the shadow file has been missing okay this is about the change command how you effectively you can do a password changes are the password enforcing the users to change their passwords keep your system secure and um, follow these standards in all the way thanks for watching stay tuned